Hi there and welcome back to this channel. Let us look at this example here. It is enzyme kinetics related. So we are given the following experimental data and we are told that the following data was obtained from a 2 liter chemostat for the growth of a specific bacteria using glucose as a growth medium for an initial concentration of 10 grams per liter. Using the following data that is provided, determine the maintenance coefficient and yield coefficient Y subscript SX, the maximum specific growth rate UM, and the death rate constant. First, let us analyze all the variables and factors that we're going to look at. F represents the flow rate, X represents the cell concentration, D represents the dilution factor, U represents a specific growth rate, and UM represents the maximum specific growth rate. Y subscript XS represents the organism produced per consumption of the subscript. Y to the power of M also subscript XX, it's the maximum yield. Y to the power of AP subscript xs it's the apparent yield i made an error there forgive me k subscript s it's the half velocity constant s it's the substrate and kd it's the death rate constant okay now let us start with our analysis to solve this problem we are going to use both word and excel to make our lives easier you may use a calculator if needed we are given a volume of 2l and a substrate concentration initially of 10 grams per liter so we are going to transpose everything on excel first to try and solve for everything based on the given data since we are given flow rate and the volume we can get the dilution factor which will be flow rate over volume i used dollar signs just to make my volume a constant throughout the calculation process the next step will be to find our x-axis the x-axis will be one over d which is the dilution factor since while we just calculated d now we are able to obtain one over d next up let's get our apparent yield by just saying x over s0 minus s and lastly let's get our y-axis which is 1 over our apparent yield once you've calculated everything and tabulated everything now let's plot you can see that 1 over apparent yield is equals to m 1 over dilution factor plus 1 over maximum yield which is simply the same as saying y is equals to mx plus b so now let's plot y-axis versus our x-axis you can also add more factors on your graph by titling it appropriately there I did make an error as well. Just make sure that you title it properly. For example, x-axis versus your y-axis. You can also add the trend line and also specify the line of regression to appear on your data. And once Excel assists you with that part of the calculation, we will be able to extract our gradient and our intercepts by just looking at our line of regression equation. Let's go back to Word. Now you can just copy and paste everything that you just did in Excel on your Word. We have our table data that we just calculated calculated and our graph. The next step now will be to extract our intercept by just observing at our line of regression equation our intercept is 2.9 and we know from our equation intercept is 1 over maximum yield hence we are able to obtain our maximum yield by just saying the inverse 1 over 2.9 it's equals to 0 0.345 also let's obtain our slope which will be the death constant over our maximum yield and that should give you 0 0.1365 by just extracting it from our equation next step let's calculate kd which we can simply Simply just say 0 0.1365 that we got from the regression line multiplied by the maximum yield that we just got from the intercept to give us 0 0.047 let us look at our second equation here and it basically say our y-axis we have 1 over d plus kd which is dilution factor and our death rate constant can be equated to the half velocity coefficient over our specific growth rate multiplied by 1 over s plus 1 over um with the aid of the equation we should be able to plot our graph which is x versus y we already have the s so we're just going to say 1 over s do the same thing for the following data by just dragging everything down and x will calculate everything for you automatically you can also obtain 1 over d plus kd we already have d and we also have our kd value so if we just punch in everything onto excel it should be able to calculate everything for us for the following or the rest of the data next step will be to draw the graph you can also title your x's don't forget to add the trend line and also the line of regression it will add 
the equation for you automatically if you just click display on your graph let's go back to word now that we have everything the next step will be to get our intercept and that is intercept is equals to 1.01 .01. and we also know that from our equation above one over maximum growth rate is equals to intercept hence we are able to get our maximum growth rate to be 0 0.99 the final step will be to get our slope that can easily be extracted from our data here and it's 0 0.083 and also lastly it's to get the ks our ks value um multiply by the slope and that should give you 0 0.082 grams per liter i really hope this makes sense thank you so much for watching till next time bye